Welcome back, where today I rank all the sharks. So I'm just going to get straight into it because this is going to be a bit of a longer video than usual. There are a lot of sharks out there, so I'm going to only include the sharks on Hungry Shark World that are also currently alive in today's times because there are possibly hundreds of sharks. But anyway, let's get started. In seventh tier, we start with nothing. No shark even comes close to being in seventh tier. This is also because there are none in sixth tier because all sharks have near super designs. We do have sharks in 5th tier, and those are the sharks that eat plankton over a regular basic shark, which is a brilliant build already. And this means the whale shark, which happens to be the largest shark. Basking shark, also happens to be the second largest shark. And the mega mouth shark, which is, surprise surprise, not the third, it's the fourth largest shark. There are quite a few other sharks in 5th tier. Now all these sharks in 5th tier, because they are smaller, weaker sharks that are preyed on by bigger sharks and the shark's worst friend. Possibly more than the human, and I'll mention that guy later. These sharks are the blue shark, poor beagle shark, and black tip reef shark. All the sharks I am now going to mention have a reason to be in fourth tier. We start with the white tip reef shark. The white tip reef shark is like Jekyll and Hyde, where during the day it sit, just sits there, doing nothing, minding its own business. But at night, it is like Hyde, where it swims around and eating anything it can find in the coral reef hunting anything it can grab, meaning they are not nice at night. A sand shark is a more buffed shark that has a fewer predators than an average shark and has some techniques such as the ability to swallow air bubbles to get up in the water. We also have the wobbygon shark that is on the weaker side but can camouflage. The wobbygon shark also can lure its prey with its hypnotic tail and camouflage from predators. There's one more shark in fourth tier and that is the hardest shark to rank due to it being in a deep sea mystery, and that is the goblin shark. This was a hard one to rank because they live in the water deeper than 1,000 meters and avoid a shark's greatest enemy by being this deep, but may have the blue shark that preys on it. The goblin shark is a shark that can either be a great pick with no enemies or a great big flop, but any way, it is a risky shark to play as due to not much being known about it. Therefore, it is a very hard shark to recommend. These are the sharks, however, I would definitely recommend saying that are worth playing as. And I'm, of course, talking about third tier. The first shark that makes the third tier is the Mako shark. The Mako shark is the fastest shark, reaching speeds of 25 miles per hour and burst speeds of 40 miles per hour. The Mako shark is a medium-sized 3-meter shark that can avoid dodging most predators and tends to feed on the same stuff as swordfish and dolphins, the other speedy sea creatures. It does lack some quality shark features it requires, which is why it's in third tier. The other shark in third tier is the Thresher shark, which may look like it wanted the biggest, fanciest tail in all the sea, but that tail is used to stun fish, making them easier to eat and catch. Apart from that, the Thresher shark is a basic build of a shark, but apart from that tail, doesn't excel in any other categories. Moving on to the second tier and we have the sharks that have very buff builds and have very good electro sensors and blood sense which are two ways sharks find their food. The first shark to make the list is the bull shark. The bull shark is a shark on the small side but packs a big punch in its bite force. This shark can also enter fresh water meaning they have only one problem with fresh water and that is the saltwater crocodile which is a bit weird seeing as it's a saltwater crocodile but they do like their fresh water so this does happen. They are also one of the two most aggressive sharks. One of the two sharks which who use electro sense, however, which isn't the bull shark, we're moving on from that guy, there's not much else to talk about, is the smooth hammerhead. This is a medium sized shark, but has a 360 degree vision because of its weird looking head, and can sense what's trying to hide. Before we get to the top tier, we have one more shark in this tier, and that is one of the more well known sharks, the tiger shark. The tiger shark is one of the most ferocious sharks out there and one of the strongest. What stops them from being top tier is a bigger, tougher, more ferocious shark than the tiger shark is there, which means it's hard to justify it being up in top tier. And the tiger shark has multiple predators, one of which is everyone's least favourite guy if you're a shark and the annoying saltwater crocodile. Finally, in the top tier, we have two sharks. The first... It's the great hammerhead shark. This shark takes everything about the smooth hammerhead but buffs it up even more. What also makes hammerheads like this one at the top tier is how they travel in giant groups as a protection method. This really minimizes their predators and really only has one, which I'll get onto later. 
The final shark in top tier is the one everyone knows, the Great White Shark, which takes the basic shark build and buffs it up. Great White Shark has a bite force of £4,000 per square inch, which is, I believe, the third or fourth highest of any animal alive at the moment. What makes them joint first, however, is despite being able to shred a great time ahead into little bits, they don't hunt in packs, meaning they often get preyed on by orcas. So the Great White Shark and Great Hammerhead Shark both get the crowns as the Shark Kings and Queens of the Sea. But before I finish, I need to talk about two predators in a bonus tier, which I like to call God tier. The first is not a shark, but it's the creature that loves to hunt sharks, the orca. Despite not being a shark, this animal preys on almost all of these sharks that are mentioned and has a bite force of £19,000 per square inch. But this shark deserves a mention, and it is the Megalodon. The Megalodon has 20 to 25 metres in length, and many people say it is a great white shark, just much bigger. This shark has the strongest bite force ever at £48,000 per square inch. These creatures even preyed on giant whales, which only the orca does nowadays. So it's a good thing this beast went extinct during the Ice Age. Anyway, that is the end of the video. Sharks have survived for nearly half a billion years and have barely changed since the start of their existence, beating even the crocodiles by hundreds of million years. But thanks for watching and have a great day.